fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi Silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'm Silver. The Lone Ranger and his Indian companion, Tonto, left their camp in the Enchanted Hills and took a trail for Frontier Town that skirted Sagebrush Hollow. They rode at a leisurely pace under the hot afternoon sun. This is about the hottest day we've had this spring, Tonto. Ah, sun plenty warm. When we get to Frontier Town... And... Oh, Silver, oh, oh, scout, oh, fella. Oh, we'll come plenty close, Kimasabi. Yes, seem to come from over there in the hollow. I not see anyone. Come on, we we'll ride over and investigate. Come on, Silver. Come on, Scout. Oh, Silver. Oh, 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 Scout, oh, fella. Very big fella. That's strange. Doesn't seem to be anyone around here. May not see anyone leave. I know. And there aren't any hoof prints. Maybe it's someone who would not have horse. Could be. But where could he have gone? It's not safe to go into Sagebrush Hollow on foot. There are plenty quicksand. Keep your gun handy. We'll look further, Tonto. Someone shot at us from hiding. We'll find out who and why. Come, Silver, come. Get him up, Scout. For almost an hour, the Lone Ranger and Tonto searched carefully. Then they returned to the trail and continued on their way to Frontier Town. Frankly, Tonto... I'm puzzled by what happened. Ah, we hear shot, we hear whine of bullet, but we not find any sign that someone shoot from Hollow. Yet we're both certain the shot came from Sagebrush Hollow just a short distance in from the trail. Isn't that right? The ground is soft in there, yet we couldn't find any trace of prints. There are not any trees there near the air, Kimasabi. I know. After we get our supplies in town, we'll come back and search again. Won't be satisfied until I know who fired that shot. I want to get him. I must stop. Later that afternoon, the Lone Ranger and Tonto arrived at the outskirts of Frontier Town. Tonto went to Sheriff Taylor's office and told him to meet the Lone Ranger on the edge of town. Then Tonto went to get supplies. A short time later, Sheriff Two-Gun Taylor reined up where the Lone Ranger was waiting. Oh, oh there. 
Jenny. Howdy, mister. Glad to see you again. Howdy, Sheriff. Glad to see you. Tell me, do you know of any outlaw that might be hiding in Sagebrush Hollow? No, I can't say that I do. But I got a couple of complaints about happenings up there near the hollow. Complaints? Yeah. Two days ago, a rancher was coming down the Redskin Trail. Somebody took a shot at him. Nicked his horse, too. I see. And just yesterday, Ted Mitchell went up that way to inspect a mining claim. He was coming back along the trail that runs between the hollow and Whistling Springs. All of a sudden, he got creased by a bullet. Stunned him a bit, too. When he come to, whoever did it was gone. Well, uh, what did you do about it? Took a couple of deputies and went up there. Oh? Couldn't find hide nor hair of anybody. Fact is, we couldn't even find any sign of somebody having been there. Hmm. Somebody shot a tunnel at me this afternoon from the hollow. What? They did? Yes. We went into the hollow and searched. What'd you find? Oh, nothing. Whoever fired on us left no sign at all. Holy smoke. Downright uncanny. What do you make of it? Well, I'm convinced a very clever outlaw is hiding there. But I can't figure out why he attracts attention by shooting at people on the trails. Oh, and I can't figure out how he covers up like he does. Well, I'm going to get a big party together and go up there again. How about joining up with us? Well, give me time to disguise myself, then we'll join you. I'll uh, remove my mask and put on the disguise of a cowpoke. You'll know me by a long scar I'll put on my right cheek. All right. Say, uh, tell me... Yes? I've been wondering, why do you have to bother with either the mask or a disguise? I used to be a Texas Ranger, Sheriff, as you know. There are several notorious characters still at large that might recognize me without the mask or a disguise. Oh, I see. So that's the reason. Yes. Well, as soon as I'm ready, Tonto and I will join you and the posse at the other side of town. Good. We'll search the hollow this afternoon. I'll get the posse together right away. We'll meet you and Tonto right here at the edge of town. Good. time later, Sheriff Taylor and a large posse were carefully searching Sagebrush Hollow. The Lone Ranger and Tonto left the posse and conducted their own search. It was almost dark when they met with the posse at an appointed spot on the Redskin Trail. Well, here they come. Don't have anyone with them, looks like. Hello, Silver. Hello, Steady, big fella. Well, we didn't have any luck, mister. How about you? We didn't find anyone, Sheriff. It's downright spooky, that's what. Yeah, looks mighty funny to me. Now, oh, don't go to start any rumors about spooks and such, Tommy Rod. Someone fired those shots. We know he fired real bullets, too. But why didn't we find any sign in the hollow? That's sure a mystery to us, Sheriff. Yeah, it is a mystery, all right. I admit that. We don't know how he covered up. But I guess we can be certain now that no one's in Sagebrush Hollow. Yeah, that's right, unless he got caught in some of that quicksand in there. We sure made a thorough search this time. We sure did. Well, what do we do now, Sheriff? I guess we might as well go back to Frontier Town. We've done all we can here. What are you and Tonto aiming to do now, mister? We'll return to our camp for the night, Sheriff. Perhaps tomorrow we can start... Oh, my arm! That shot came to the edge of the hollow. Get over there quick, Sheriff. Don't hold him. Don't stop here. Here. We'll get him this time. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. Here's where it comes from, all right. There's nobody here, though. Look around in the brush, man. All right. Hmm. No one here. Uh, no sign, either. Hey, I'm getting away from here. Maybe you don't believe in spooks, He can't but... be far away. We all continue the search now. We ought to catch him. That's right. Spread out, men. We'll run him down. He's here someplace, sign or no sign. What's more, we're going to get him. Once more, the posse, with the help of the Lone Ranger and Tonto, hunted carefully for the person who had fired the shot. It was almost an hour before they gave up the search and returned to their horses. Good thing the moon's out bright. One of the men stayed to fix up my wounded deputy. Guess they're both anxious to see us come back. I don't see either one of them. I wonder where they are. Well, that's funny. Hey, Bill! Bill! He isn't here and... Neither does the other one. It was Ted Mitchell, the land agent, who stayed with Bill. But they're not here. They must be. Maybe they went back to town, Sheriff. 
We've been searching for some time, you know. Well, they wouldn't leave, I'm sure of that. But they're gone, Sheriff. Yes, I know. Something mighty strange going on around here. All them shots, now two men missing. We'd better get away from here. It's downright spooky, like Jim said. Sheriff, I suggest you send someone to Frontier Town for more men. The rest of us can camp for the night over near Whistling Springs. Good idea. In the morning, we'll search every inch of Sagebrush Hollow until we solve this mystery. After riding to the vicinity of Whistling Springs, the sheriff and his men camped for the night. The others soon were sleeping, but Tonto and the Lone Ranger sat apart, talking in low tones. What you think, Kimasabi? It's hard to say, Toto. Someone very clever is behind all of this. Men think evil spirits live in Hollow. You don't think that, do you, Toto? No. No, me not believe in spirits, Kimasabi. I was sure you didn't. The mystery will be cleared up sooner or later. We have to find the one responsible before he does away with the two men who disappeared. You think him kill him? That remains to be seen, Toto. I hope not. You know, it's strange anyone could take them by surprise like that. Isn't that right? The sheriff's men hadn't been so nervous. We could have continued the hunt through the night. It's not good to wait till morning. Yes, I know. Now that they're asleep, we'll take our horses and go back to Sagebrush Hollow. Perhaps we can find something that will lead us to the deputy and Ted Mitchell. All right. Yeah. Let's go get Silver and Scout. Yeah. Lone Ranger and Tonto left the camp quietly and rode back until they reached the edge of Sagebrush Hollow. There they reined up. Oh, sir. Oh, 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 scout. Oh, 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 and now what we do, Kimasabi? We'll separate, Tonto. You ride left, I'll go right. Each of us will ride around the hollow. We'll meet at the fork in the trail that leads to the old Spanish fort on the other side. Ah. Uh, and if you're not there, me wait. Yes. Now it should take each of us about an hour to reach that spot. Keep your eyes open and look for anything that may give a hint of this mystery. Ah, me watch out. And you be careful, Kimasabi. I will. Adios. Adios. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. The Lone Ranger rode alone along the trail that skirted Sagebrush Hollow to the right. The moon was bright, and he was careful to scrutinize every foot of the hollow bordering on the trail, but saw nothing. Finally, he arrived at the appointed meeting place, oh, where he waited for Tonto to come along. Be he became worried and impatient as time went on. Easy, fellow. Hmm. I waited more than half an hour for Tonto. Strange he hasn't come yet. Maybe I'd better go. Someone coming up the trail now. Or more than one. I'll have my guns ready. Hello there! Sheriff Taylor and a couple of the men... Hello! Oh, oh, that. oh, oh, hey. I saw you and Tonto leave the camp a while ago. I waited a bit and decided to come up this way. Did you see Tonto on the trail? He was to come that way. Tonto? No, isn't he with you? No. We separated on the other side of the hollow. I took the right trail. Tonto took the left. We agreed to meet here, but he hasn't arrived. Well, it's funny we didn't catch up to him, then. Yes, Sheriff, it is. Maybe... Maybe the spook outlaw got him, too. Now, see here, I told you to stop that spook business, didn't I? Sure you did. But with things happening like they are, all the men are beginning to think... Well, they can just stop thinking, then. Maybe we can't figure this thing out right off, but we will sooner or later. Sheriff, we've got to figure it out as soon as possible. Since Tonto hasn't come up the trail, and since you haven't seen him, I'm convinced that he, too, has fallen victim to the mysterious gunman. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Upon hearing the Lone Ranger express the opinion that Tonto, too, must have fallen victim to the strange gunman in the hollow, the sheriff and his two followers sat for a moment like statues in the moonlight. Then Sheriff Taylor spoke. Hey, I never thought of that, mister. You really think Tonto must... That's the only explanation, Sheriff. Unless he found a clue and decided to follow it. Maybe that's what delayed him, then. On second thought, though, I'm sure Tonto would have met me as we arranged and told me about any clue he might have found. I'm going back along that left trail right now. We'll come along with you. Come on, Silver. Get up there. All along the trail, the Lone Ranger looked carefully for some sign that might have been left by Tonto. The men rode slowly, and dawn was breaking when they and the Lone Ranger reached the spot where the shot had been fired the day before. The Lone Ranger called a halt. Oh, Silver. Oh, oh, oh. Easy, big fellow. Now, this is about where that shot was fired at Tonto and me yesterday afternoon. Yeah, it was about here that Ted Mitchell got creased by a bullet, too. I'm going closer to the edge of the hollow. Come, Silver. Come, boy. Right here. See these small sticks? What's that tell you? Hunter left that to show that he rode straight into the hollow at this point. Now look, there are hoof prints. That's right, I see them. See them on the point. We'll follow them. Come on, Silver. Get up, get up. Get up. Get up. Slowly, the Lone Ranger and the others advanced as they followed the tracks left by Tonto's horse, Scout. The ground was firm and covered with sagebrush. We covered this ground last night. Went all over it as far as the quicksand is just ahead there. I know. Tonto seems to have ridden straight for that quicksand. Better take it easy. We'll be coming to it soon. Tonto must have turned aside just ahead somewheres. I don't like this at all. Keep your gun handy and shut up. Can you still see Tonto's trail? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. There's that quicksand. The rain up. Blue silver, blue boy. <laughs> Sheriff, look there. Otto didn't turn aside at all. See those tracks? Holy smoke. Looks like he rode right straight into the quicksand. Then he's a goner. He must have been local to do that. Those tracks lead into that quicksand like they were heading into a river. And quicksand don't leave any trace. I guess Tom and his horse has been pulled under. Wait a minute, Sheriff. As you say, quicksand doesn't leave any trace. Easy, Silver. But it gives me an idea. What are you thinking about? What are you going to do? I want to find a heavy stick. Uh, here's one. What are you going to do? Poke around and try to locate where... No, to... that isn't it, Sheriff. I can't say what he's up to. No, I can't either. Sheriff, send one of these men back for the others. I think we'll need them. Sure. Jake, you go. All right. Get up! Get up! I, I feel kind of shaky being here where them shots were fired. Suppose that spook, I, I mean outlaw, hears us and starts slinging lead. I think I've discovered the secret of the whole thing. But as long as I don't realize that, we're safe here. You mean you really got enough? Hey, what is it you found out, mister? Sheriff, we'll ride back to the trail to wait for the others. He's a silver city minute. When they get here, we'll make our plans. But what about I'll the... I'll tell you while we're waiting. Come on, Silver. Get up. Get up. Come on. The Lone Ranger, with Sheriff Two-Gun Taylor and the other rider, slowly moved out the short distance to the trail. They crossed the trail and reined up in a clump of trees on the other side. Oh, Silver. Oh, Eddie, big fella. Easy now. We'll be safer over here in this grove of trees until the others come. Steady. You got my curiosity at fever pitch. Yes? How about telling us what it is you say you discovered? 
Both of us were there, but we didn't see any sign or anything. But you did notice that Tonto's tracks didn't stop at the edge of the quicksand. Yeah, that's right. Can't figure that out. Seems real loco to me for anyone to ride right into sure death and that stuff. Tonto knew what he was doing, I'm sure. And he wasn't pulled under by that quicksand. But he wasn't. How do you know, mister? Yeah, what makes you so sure? Now listen closely. I'm certain you noticed, as I did, that there's a small island covered with tall, thick brush about 30 feet out in that quicksand. Sure, I noticed that, all right. But nobody could get to it. Nobody in his right mind would even try. Remember, I picked up a heavy stick and brought it to the edge of the quicksand? Well? While I was talking to you, I poked around in that sand with a stick. Sure, I saw you poking there. I thought you were... Sheriff, I found that there's a solid ridge of ground about six feet wide running through that quicksand to the island. What? It's just under the surface at the point where Toto went in. Well, what do you know? There's just enough quicksand on top of that ridge so there'd be no sign of tracks or footsteps. Toto must have seen someone walk or ride along there to the island and followed... Yeah. When we searched in there before, we stopped at the edge of that quicksand. Exactly. Now, a person could stand in that brush on the little island with a rifle and see out to the trail... By thunder, I'm beginning to think you've solved the mystery. But I can't figure out why anyone would go shooting at folks on the trail. There's been a legend about a lost gold mine in Sagebrush Hollow. It could be that the mine entrance is located in that tall brush on the little island. Holy smoke. Those who found it probably want to start a rumor that Sagebrush Hollow is haunted. Otherwise, it'd be a rush to stake out claims. I'm wondering about my deputy and Mitchell. Could be that outlaws hiding out in the hollow found the mine. They didn't dare stake a claim in Frontier Town. Also, they may need horses, so they took the deputy and Mitchell prisoners. Their disappearance would create more talk. What about the Indian? I am sure Toto went there of his own accord, so by now he'll be in need of help. We'll wait for the others, then we'll move in on that little island. Meantime, in a large cave hidden by the brush on the little island, Tonto, his hands bound behind him, sat calmly listening as three rough-looking men talked. Well, Indian, you followed Rusty in through that quicksand. You rode right into our hands. Ah. Uh, me see Tonto ride in from trail and ride through sand. Me follow. But leave sign for friends. If you mean that tall hombre and the sheriff, they trailed you to the edge of the sand, but I guess they thought you were loco and got pulled under. They came and left a little while ago. Before long, they'll give up the search. Then we take you and those two others we got back in the cave to where the quicksand is really deep. And dump you all in. That'll give us the three horses we need. <laughs> it sure was funny to hide here in the bushes on the island and hear them townsmen talking about spooks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Folks will give the hollow on those nearby trails a wide berth from now on. Then we can get the gold out and take it to Milton. Well, me know you all outlaws. Him, Duke Wade. Wanted for killing Frontier Town. You hear that, Duke? This Indian knows who we are. Ah, what's the difference? Won't live to tell anybody after we throw him into the quicksand back yonder. You'll never get the gold out. Sheriff Taylor and Tonto's friend will keep on searching and watching Sagebrush Hollow. Ah, shut up. Next time they come snooping, we'll pick them off with bullets. Nobody will ever come this way after that happens. That's right, they won't. Oh, Jack, better take a look outside again. All right, Duke. Well, Indian, I sure hope that friend of yours comes back. This time, we'll gun them down hey, and they won't. What's the matter? What's out there, Jack? The posse's back, out at the edge of the quicksand. The sheriff and the tall hombre's with him. What of it? Quicksand between here and where they are has them fooled. They'll leave soon. Tell everybody about the Indian disappearing. <laughs> he sure makes well spooks, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those hombres were sure nervous last night. Guess they got their nerve back with the dawn. I'll cover the Indian with my gun in case he decides to call out. If he does that, he'll be a dead Indian. I don't think so, Duke Wade. Yes, Harvey. What the... Drop your gun, Quicksand didn't fool him. It's the Indian's friend. You were smart, but not smart enough. Up your guns, I said. No, I'm not going to... Oh! You got me in the leg. Now, hold on, mister. We can make a deal. I don't make deals with killers. I told you to drop your guns. Double up on him, Duke. Oh, you... Oh! Oh! 
Look, I, I give up, mister. Come in and get him, man. I, I, I thought that quicksand would keep you fooled. You can thank the Indian's friend for discovering your secret, Wade. He knew the Indian was too smart to ride right into quicksand without a reason. There's Ted Mitchell and the deputy over there. We're all right. It's a good thing, though, that the Indian's friend figured this out. We'd have ended up in the deep quicksand back in the hollow. I'll cut your ropes, Tuttle. First your hands. Hold steady now. Now your feet. There you are. Uh-huh. Me know you find out secret, Kimasabi. Me see Pala ride through sand to island, me follow. Other two Pallas jump me. How'd they get Mitchell and my deputy? The three of them sneaked up on us while I was fixing the deputy's wounded arm last night. The rest of you were searching the hollow further on from here. There's a gold mine here, Sheriff. The lost gold mine of Sagebrush Hollow. Folks in Frontier Town can stake claims right away. Come on, Tonto. Our work is done here. Uh, Adios, Tonto. Adios, mister. Now look, Sheriff. We found an old map that showed the way to this place through the quicksand. We found this gold mine, and now it's ours. <laughs> you are but wanted for murder. You won't need gold where you'll end up. Take him out of here, man. All right, sure is fun. You're the sheriff, and yet it took that scar-faced cowpoke to discover the secret of where we were and how to get in here. It was an honor to me to have that scar-faced army riding with me and figuring things out, Wade. You see, when you planned to scare folks away with your tricks and all, you didn't reckon on being outsmarted by the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Yep. That was him wearing a disguise and a fake scar instead of his mask. Now get going. Copyrighted feature originated by George W. Trendle and directed by Charles D. Livingston. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer.